What is good guys, it's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's going on with the overall market, what you should be watching for moving forward. I'm going to talk about something very suspicious that's going on with the charts right now for SPY, Tesla, and beyond, and what's happening with the news as something very suspicious once again just happened. But before I break anything down all this information, before I talk about what's going on and why I'm starting to change my view of the markets, let me just mention a couple of things. I am firstly not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Moomoo link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Moomoo, the link down below and deposit $100 into the account, you are guaranteed up to five free stocks. It's not for instance, just five days. Check it out before they run out. All right, guys, I want to do a quick recap of what happened from yesterday, just very quickly. Then I'm going to talk about something big that happened today about the markets, because there's something very, very odd about what happened today. So yesterday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we had the 30-year bond auction come out lower than expected, and this was bearish for the markets. Then we had Jerome Powell give a speech. This was also bearish because he said that the Fed is open to raising rates again, and there's so much more, more work that has to be done to get to their 2% target, the 2% inflationary target of the Fed. So with that being said, the market got this bearish engulfing candle. The market was looking potentially bearish, and I warned everyone to be careful uh, I told you all the market might rebound a bit. And then in the morning, I told you we could see SPY retest like 437.5 to 438 and maybe reject out, off of that. Uh, I told you to be very careful. Don't fully trust the moves that came. But instead, the market just kept going. It went harder than expected. And we saw SPY pump to 441. Now, we pumped and pumped and pumped all day today. The market just kept going higher. And we saw market makers squeeze shorts. So what happened was we broke some key resistance, and a lot of people turned very bullish when this happened. But, but another thing I had over here in my video, this is my second video of the day, was this trend line. I drew out how even though SPY is pumping, we have this white trend line right here acting as resistance. And we ended up closing just under. We came very close to it. And now something very suspicious is going on. So the market pumped and pumped and pumped, and we got a very strong close. SPY closed at... 440.6, so almost 441. Very, very strong close. This thing was pumping. The market closed. Everything was fine. And then about 40 minutes after the market close was done with, this news came out. Moody has cut the U.S. outlook to negative, setting that higher interest rates are likely and there are going to be more deficits possibly. This is some big news. Okay, this is massive. Moody's Investor Service lowered its rating outlook for the U.S.'s government to negative from stable, pointing to rising risks of the nation's fiscal strength. The rating agency has affirmed that the long-term issuer and senior unsecured ratings of the U.S. Uh, came to an, a AAA, basically. And they said, and I quote, in the context of higher interest rates without effective fiscal policy measures to reduce government spending or increase revenues, the agency said that Moody expects that the U.S.'s fiscal deficits will remain very large, significantly weakening the debt affordability. That is pretty big news. So what does this mean for us going forward? Well, you have to look at the polarization of the Congress and whether or not you know the government shutdown risk will increase. And also, you have to think about what this credit rating means, right? So these credit, credit ratings are very important because they give lenders a very good understanding of the probabilities of how an, an investor is likely to like pay off their debt, right? So for the U.S., uh, this reflects the stability from a fiscal lens of the government, and it could impact interest rates and the in, the actions of global investors. So they look at the U.S. as a safe haven, and if the U.S. gets negative ratings, if we keep seeing our cre credit ratings dropping, if our overall outlook becomes negative, this is going to impacts their overall sentiment about investing in the U.S., and this could even de-incentivize that from happening. This could decrease the odds of them taking on U.S. debt, and the list goes on as this affects U.S. securities. So this is pretty big news. This is huge, okay? Uh, this is going to have an effect on the stock market possibly. Uh, I know that the market could be very irrational, you know, we had bad data that came out today. We had Jerome Powell. He kind of shook the markets yesterday. And despite that, you know, the market held up. The market held up today, made a big U-turn. So the market could be very irrational. And that's why I'm not like super convicted about what's about to happen to the markets. But I'm going to be on my toes. I'm going to be very, very patient with this to see what this causes. This could cause the market to slow down because this is some negative news. 
And I also found it very suspicious. Okay, very suspicious. First off, we had a million puts on SPY expiring. All right. So what the market makers did is they pumped the markets to hurt those shorts. But there's also a possibility. Okay, what if what if they they pumped the market really hard? They turned all these people into super super big bulls, thinking that the market will keep going. Jerome Powell couldn't crash the markets. People thought SPY was going to just continue to pump forever, right? And retail may have started buying. Wall Street could have been selling up here because they knew that this news was going to come out. Could they have pumped the markets, closed the market in a very strong manner, and right after close, this news comes out, so the market caps down, and these Wall Street guys already like sold off their shares. They sold off at the top. They, they left others holding the bags, and this could have been very, very suspicious. Uh, you know, the last time the U.S. got a downgrade from Moody, the, the 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 markets dropped pretty hard. We saw the markets drop, not like not like hard to the point where it's a crash, but we did see some selling. So this could be big, guys. That's why I'm going to be very suspicious. So this could have been a trap. This whole thing could have been a big bull trap. This could have been a trap for bulls. And you have to remember that on spy, when you look at let me, I think the daily chart should show what I'm about to show you, and that is we have a lot of gaps. I don't think the gap from overnight is showing on this chart on the daily. I have to pull up like the four hour time frame just to show you where this gap is. So on SPY, if you look at the four hour, if you look at a couple of other time frames, even the five minute shows it, we have a gap down here. There's also a gap today that forms somewhere. I just have to look for it. I think it should show on the five minute time frame. It's a little hard to find. But there's this gap down here. We basically gapped up and we opened and we didn't end up filling the gap completely. So we have this gap down here. You could see it on the five minute time frame. Spy has a gap down to 433. There's a gap down at 430. There's another gap in the 420s. You know, this could be the thing that flips the markets. When you look at the four hour time frame, you will notice that on the four hour, we also have a triple bearish divergence. I don't know if it means we're about to start selling off from here. It's a possibility. And we just want to be very careful because this is huge news. Okay. They intentionally pumped the markets, in my opinion, to get retail to hold the bags. They started selling up top and they waited for the market to close, getting everyone bullish so that they could just cut and once again give us this big, big, big news right after the market closed. So it's pretty interesting. I personally, I'm not going to promise anything. Okay. We're going to wait and see what the market does. We're starting to sink in the after hours, but here's what we're going to be watching for. Just in case, we're bullish. Just in case, okay? Just in case the markets are rational. If we're bullish, you want to see it break this white trend line. You guys see the white trend line? We want to see SPY get above 442. If we do so, we're going to push up to 444. If we get, get the bounce, and we have this imbalance at 444, it's going to fill. So that's going to be the bullish target. The bearish target would be, wait, this bad news came out, right? Moody cut the U.S. outlook. This is pretty bad news. Maybe this will actually affect the market. Maybe the market's going to be rational, and this thing's going to sell off. If we sell off, SPY is going to come down to 438. 438 is coming next. If we lose that, watch 437.5, 436.5, and then 435 is coming next. What is more likely? As of right now, the market's starting to sell off, so there's a good chance of us getting the sell-off from here. So I think we might be heading down, but just to be safe, let's see how we look on Monday morning and we're going to be very patient. But there is going to be a risk of some downside after this news. I just wanted to warn you about this. This was, in my opinion, possibly market manipulation, the way that this played out, the way they pumped it and then waited for the market to close to release this news. It's very suspicious. I mean, I, I, I was just blown away when I saw how this played out. So we'll wait and see, but please stay safe, guys. I really hope that, and I'm not trying to give financial advice, but I hope that during this pump, you guys didn't just like continue to buy, buy, buy long term. Uh, you should have just like waited and took profits if you could have. At least that's what I would. What, that's what I ended up doing. I took all my profits on the calls and on my long positions, and I'm just holding cash right now. Besides like holding shares long term, of course, but I'm just referring to like options and trading. So. Very suspicious stuff, guys. It's very suspicious. I'll talk more about like NVIDIA and Apple and other tickers for tomorrow. I'm going to keep the video very quick. So we'll wait and see what happens. This is huge. Take care, everyone. 
and please stay safe. Enjoy the rest of Friday, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks again, and peace out.